Thank you. Welcome to another edition of Painting with Leo T. My name is Sean Mullins, a retired lieutenant, the Levy County Sheriff's Office here in the beautiful state of Florida. What I'm going to talk to you today is about evergreen trees. I'm going to show you how uh, to do an evergreen tree using oils. And this is something that a lot of people really struggle with. Uh, we find that a lot of people, when they do an evergreen tree, they turn the brush many ways. I have found if you will take the brush, See if I can get it closer, we can see it. And there's some writing on this one. This one says Kevin Hill Collection. Love his brushes, by the way. But if you put it right in the middle like this and pull through your paint, now I have mixed up black and green. Again, we're not painting a picture today. This is solely a demonstration of uh, how to paint evergreen tree. And I pull it through just like this. You want to get it to a very chiseled edge, a very sharp edge. And once you do that, you're going to go up to your canvas. Again, I have holding it here. So I'm just going to start a straight line. There's going to be one. I will reload it again. Again, the label is still here. And I'm only going to use the right hand corner of this brush to do the tree. Load at that very sharp edge. And again, using just the tip. Just a tip, I'm going to touch here, come down, I'm using that the right hand corner, and use more of the brush as I come down, and right there is an evergreen tree. Now, let me show you that again. We load the brush both sides. You want that very chiseled edge once again. I have a label up in my hand. I'm going to draw a line here. Here's what I'm following. Reload it. Again, label up using just the right hand corner. If you are left handed, the left hand corner will do the exact same thing. And again, you just start here, just barely touch at the top. And think about coming down in a Z stroke. Just like this. The brush is not moving, I'm not flipping, turning. All I'm using is that one corner. As I get lower, I use the whole brush. And there is an evergreen tree. Now, I'm going to kick out a couple real fast because I want to show you how to do the reflections. Same thing, pull through, straight edge. Here's a line here. You can have another one over here, doesn't matter. Straight down, label directly here. I come up here. And you want them darker at the bottom. There we go, dark here. There we go. There's our little island, if you will, or the land, whatever it is you're doing. If you're putting some in the back, all you would have to do is connect, just pull some down like this. Like this. Same again, I'm using the exact same corner of the brush. Always make one a little bit taller. Whoops, that was, see, that's what happens if you don't make that pointed edge. Pointed edge here, pull up. And there are evergreen trees. Again, one more time, pull through just like this. Gonna use the right corner, label up in my hand. Come over here. And there is our evergreen trees. Now, to do the reflection, all I'm gonna do is kind of, I'm just pull my lines down here like we had them. Just a guide. Using the same corner, I'm just going to go bigger down here and get thinner as I get to the end. Same thing, it's kind of full right there. Again, the reflections do not have to be exact. Replicas of it. I did flip the brush to use the other corner. I'm just using what paint I have. Again, reloading to that chisel point. A little thicker here. Coming up, there's 
my line. Set that down. I will grab a one or two inch brush. I just have a one inch here. This is the one I put the glue on with, which is just here. It's okay. We pull through a little dark. And all I'm going to do is pull straight down. Very important to pull perfectly straight. Now I'm going to take the brush horizontal now and pull across. Pull across. Take my knife, put in a water line. Go in the knife, cut a water line, and we're done. That's a quick, easy way to make evergreen trees. If you need help, you can uh, contact me at uh, paintingwithlt at gmail.com, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Send me pictures of what you do, and I'll be glad to give you an honest critique. And again, thank you for joining me for another painting lesson in oils. God bless.